What's up guys, welcome back to, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be working on the 135 once again. So in today's video, it's actually gonna be spread out basically within two videos. Um, we're basically gonna be doing a mod to this car that uh, basically I kind of did on my other car, my 435, but these are like to your existing intercooler. So you guys know on the 435, I actually replaced the actual oil cooler housing completely, and I did see some major temperature changes. I think over a 10% drop. Normally when the car is warm and normal operating temperatures, the, 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 the gauge is at 50%. But ever since I got that oil cool on the 435, it went down to uh, roughly about 35 to 40%, which is a huge difference. So that's absolutely insane. So on this car, we do have an oil cooler as well, but not the actual full-blown oil cooler, some attachments. So this is actually a very cheap option, a very cheap mod, and uh, it should help with the cooling of the 435. So for about 500 horsepower, which is the goal for the next month, we do wanna make sure the temperatures are as low as possible. So let me show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. So opening up the trunk, again, this video is sponsored by Burger Tuni, so shout out to them. We have all the cooling upgrades and just a few other things that we're also gonna be upgrading at the same time. So this is is BMS's billet aluminum kit basically. So this is the billet oil thermostat accessory. So you get all this as a bundle right here, which is roughly about $40. And if you wanna get the best cooling possible, you also pick up this little guy. This little guy makes all the difference. This little guy is about $60. You can also get it matching colors, but you don't even notice it. it's in the inside. So, you know, red, blue, doesn't matter. And this bad boy is a billet oil filter housing. So this is pretty much gonna go over our oil filter. It helps with better cooling as well. And it's just made out of better quality better than plastic for sure, and it won't fail under pressure since you're gonna be pushing a, a lot over stock. Now all of these are super easy to install, and these will significantly reduce the oil temperature. So let's go ahead and install these bad boys since I'm super stoked to just get all these in. It'll make the engine bay look so much nicer, but at the same time, also add cooling benefits. So uh, without further ado, let's get into this stuff right here. So just looking at it from this angle right here, this is the two things you're gonna be replacing, and we're also gonna be replacing this and the piece that's inside of it. So uh, let's go ahead, remove this little guy. I think we can remove this, with actually move, I uh, know we're gonna definitely have to remove that screw. So we're gonna have to remove that screw and then this screw and then the one down there and this whole plate comes off and we can replace the piece that's on the inside. Yeah, I'll just show you guys all that stuff. Let me just show you guys all that stuff. That's gonna help out with cooling. Let's get into it. The first things first, let's go ahead and just get rid of this. Oh, that was so easy. Okay, that was nice. Second thing is this screw right here. All right, guys, just went ahead and took out this bolt. Now we just have to remove these two screws. Actually holding the thermostat right here. All right, guys, now this thing, this thing is a little bit spring-loaded, so don't worry if it's popping out on you. Just go ahead and just keep doing what you're doing. I like to do bottom and then top, bottom and then top. All right, guys, and just like that, this thermostat should be able to just come on out now. Bam! Right, guys, so we got out the original thermostat. This piece is out. We have the two bolts. We're gonna be having, we need to reuse the bolts, so don't lose those. Uh, so the next thing we're gonna have to do, if you guys look in there real quick, there's actually like basic, there's a spring and there's this little piece right here. So we're gonna have to pull on both of those. I think you can just pull out with your finger to be honest. Um, just go ahead and get some priors or something. It, I, it should come out really easy. So I, I just don't wanna put my fingers in there because it's a little bit warm. Just like that, guys. Comes out like that, quick and easy. And then we also have to pull out the spring, so uh, bam, that's the spring. All right, guys, so the thing we're gonna have to install first is this little guy right here, which is which is the valve, the cooling valve. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna install the longer piece inside, and you're gonna be, and the BMS is gonna be facing us on the outside. So this is how it's gonna go in from this angle. And then once we insert this, we pretty much just cap it off with this guy like that, and bam, perfect fitment. Remember, don't use any force, it should just slide in. Bam, just like that guys, it sits like that. There's no spring pushing it out. So there shouldn't be any force. Now we just put the two screws in and then we have good to go guys, damn. So just like that guys, the BMS is installed. It looks so good. Right, guys, now that that's installed, let's go ahead and just install that last screw. Don't forget about that screw. That's what I love about burger tuning products. Not only is it a mob, but it's also cosmetics. I might actually change these out for some blue ones now looking at it. Because if I have a whole bunch of blue stuff, it's gonna look super sick. I'm gonna add two blue screws next now. So uh, those are also gonna help with cooling. So let's go ahead just remove these two screws and then add the two new screws on top. All 
So you guys, the billet ones from BMS, Burger Tuning, they have their own little gasket on there. It's a rubber gasket. You just have to put that one on. The OEM one has a metal gasket. You just pretty much, you don't even need that. You just, you just leave that as a set. You guys can keep these, keep all the original things off to the side. It never hurts to keep it. But uh, yeah, we're just gonna use these gaskets, the rubber ones, and go ahead and install them. It should, should only take about two seconds. Now that's what I'm talking about, guys. Check that out. That looks crazy. That looks super good. We already upgraded our cooling. So uh, you get, so temperatures on every single BMW, it's about 50%. So we're gonna see if that improved with these guys. Um, but yeah, anyway, while we're here, we're gonna go ahead and just replace this to get all that blue accents going. Um, normally when you wanna do this, you probably wanna throw in a new filter uh, just cause. I've only had this filter for about 500 miles, so I don't really feel like replacing it, but Regardless, you guys should have that done. So that's on you guys if you guys wanna replace it or not, but I would recommend replacing your filter while you're in here. We do need to remove the cage off of this oil filter housing and remove it on and put it onto the new one. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Anyway, let's go ahead and remove this guy. All right guys, so what I recommend is getting rid of your old filter and actually putting in the new filter. So I'm actually gonna be reusing this one because I've only had it again for 500 miles. I still recommend you guys getting a new filter, but I don't have one handy. so. I'm just gonna go ahead and reuse this one. Uh, we do need the cage as well. So the first thing you guys have to do is just remove the filter, put that off to the side. Once you remove the filter, pretty much you can just try to snap off the cage by pushing it left and right. And the cage should just come off just like that. So we need to reuse this part. We don't need this head anymore. So you can put that off to the side. We're gonna take the BMS oil filter cap and just pretty much snap that into place. Just like that. Once it's snapped in and it's all leveled and everything, uh, if you guys use a new filter, make sure to replace the gaskets as well. But since I'm reusing the same filter, I'm using the same gaskets, I'm just gonna go ahead and put this back in here. And just like that. And right before we install, guys, we do have to remove over this gasket right here. So let's go ahead and just move that over and then we are officially ready to go. All right, guys, now we are ready to go ahead and install our new oil filter cap. So uh, this looks so good. Let's go ahead and install this bad boy. And just like that, guys, we went ahead and installed the BMS oil filter cap, the two screws for the cooling, the thermostat housing, and that piece that goes to the inside. So we have all that installed. Not only is now the temperature should be lower, but also this looks so good. I'm, I'm definitely gonna probably swapping these out eventually with blue ones. And I do want to go with the blue vacuum lines that go all the way across. And then I do want to go with the, the blue in coil packs. I think this looks so sick. I'm definitely gonna be going with the blue theme in here. I think that's gonna be super sick. This looks so good, guys. I know you guys are probably wondering why I'm at the shop right now. Just, just disregard that. Um, um, I, I needed to get some things and it's the next day and yeah, we're just at the shop at this point. So let's get the car up. All right guys, so now that we have all that installed, let's go ahead and just get the car up and install the intercooler. Yes, so we actually have a BMS intercooler, Burger Motorsports intercooler. This thing is the biggest intercooler I've ever seen and ever had on any of my cars, which you guys are about to see. So let's get this car up. We're doing a whole bunch of cooling upgrades in this video. So bam guys, this thing's gonna be literally, it should be good to go, should be rock solid. Let's get this thing up in the air. Five hours later. We're all gonna be installing the intercooler pretty soon. I am actually missing a J-pipe after further looking into it. So uh, we do have to order a J-pipe. I actually unboxed it all. I set it all up and I was going to start the build, but then I realized as midway through it. So I just put it all back together. That's not going to be on video. Um, unfortunately, we cannot do the intercooler today. But what we can do today is go ahead and paint those rims. So we're going to get this painted, but before we do that, I'm going to get something to eat and uh, we'll get back to working on both of these things. We're going to take it out for a quick little spin and just see if the cooling has improved. As long as at a normal operating temperature, it's not at 50, it's slightly below 50 or even if it's at 32 percent that would be amazing so yeah guys pretty much uh we got all the cooling stuff in here the car is 100 percent cooled down actually i'm surprised it's actually 100 percent cooled down since i drove here uh, but i also drove here with half of the things installed so the only thing that wasn't installed was pretty much the oil filter cap that also actually does help with cooling so let's go ahead and drive down to in and out it's about 15 minutes one way 15 minutes back it's a drive through so i'm not turning off the car so it's gonna be about 45 minutes and let's see the temperatures when I get back here. Let's see how low it is. Normally without any of the cooling stuff, it's at 50%. All you guys know that as long as the temperatures are 50% of your car, your car is good. If it's over 50, you should be kind of sketchy. Something bad's going on. Temperatures are not cooling or something, you know, something's leaking. So anyway, let's head out. And uh, let's get something to eat. All right, guys, we just made it to in and out So we're getting animal style and protein style. No carbs, but we're still getting the meat. And uh, again, if you could cook, don't do what I'm doing. If, if you can't like me, get some in and out protein style. I mean, that's probably the best thing you can eat, honestly. All right, guys, so we are officially at the shop now. Check out the temperatures. So I didn't beat on it, and uh, it's literally a quarter. I didn't even beat on the car, it's a quarter. If I probably beat it on it, it looks like it'll probably get up to probably 33%, about 40%. 
That is insane. It proves that it helps out with cooling, which is awesome. Damn guys, this engine is already coming together. I cannot wait to detail and add a couple more things to make it look awesome. I'm a huge power person, but I also love aesthetic. All right guys, I'm sorry I didn't show you my meal. I honestly was so hungry. I went in there and demolished it. I came here kind of early because I had a set of wheels right here that are that's already gone. One of you guys came out and bought the set of wheels that actually was off the 135 and actually sold the wheels from the 435 from one of you guys as well. So shout out to you guys for supporting the channel. I know I always price my things actually below market. The reason I do that is because if you guys want to buy something, I normally get a good sponsored deal on it. So I don't like to price it at a profit. I like to price it about where I pretty much got it. The reason I sold these ones for 600, they're typically just the rims themselves. I see them go for about 600 and then they have good tires on them. At least maybe sell them for 600 with the tires. I think that's an all in all good deal. He was super happy with them. The fitment was super good on his car. But now we're left with these wheels, which we need to make a little bit more money off of because I gotta get some tires for the 435. So the car Cost of tires for the 435 is about 400 bucks, four to 500 bucks roughly. Not the best brand, but it is what it is. It'll it will do. So for these wheels, I'm trying to get about roughly about 300 dollars after they're painted. I want to paint them black. I want them to look as good as possible for the next owner. But at the same time, I can make a little bit of money off of it and buy my set of tires. Off the rims I sold today, I'm actually gonna be putting those towards a new set of rims that we're actually gonna be getting for the 135. So I'm gonna be placing an order for them tonight. Well, actually, technically tomorrow night, because I I need you guys to help me out and let me know what kind of wheels. I need a I need a set of wheels under a thousand. Bucks. I know it's not a huge budget. A thousand dollars is my budget. 18 inch rims, staggered or squared, I don't care. As long as they look pretty decent. So let me know what kind of wheels down below without further ado. Why don't we say that it's too late for us now? Why do we stay? All right, guys, so I pretty much just masked it around. For some reason, I tried to put cards around, but it didn't actually work. So I went ahead and just taped it all the way around. Now I'm going to use some of this masking paper and then tape it around the tire and some underneath the tire as well so it doesn't actually get to the ground. I think we're pretty much ready for some primer. I already wiped these down, but I might wipe it one more time once I get everything set up. But uh, yeah, so, uh, I'll show you guys when it's all wrapped up. All right, guys, now that it's 100% masked off, I even have the masking underneath the wheels as well. It's pretty much ready for some primer. So I actually don't have as much paint. So as I'm putting on the layers, I'm actually going to head out and get some more paint. But I do have enough primer. So I'm going to go ahead and put on the primer on all the wheels and just pretty much get them to where they're where the paint can bond to them. And then we should be ready to go. So this is uh, this probably took the longest time. Painting it is the funnest and easiest part is just prepping is such a pain. So now we're just going to go ahead and just primer real quick. All right, guys, so we just went ahead to put the primer and some paint, but we're gonna definitely need more paint, maybe a can of clear. So we're gonna head down to Walmart, get a can of clear, and also get some black paint. Almost at the shop, temperature is only a quarter. This stuff from Burger Tuning is amazing. This is the best hundred dollars spent. Definitely helps out with cooling. Let's go ahead and put the second and third coat. All right guys, so this is how it looks. It's been about five minutes. We're gonna wait about 10 to, actually no, we're gonna wait about 30 minutes before we actually apply the clear coat. So I went ahead and just made sure all the rims have good enough coverage on them. Make sure you do that before you leave it for about 30 minutes. And then when you actually use the clear coat, you should be good to go. So on the back of the can, it says I should wait 30, uh, 30 minutes. So that's what I'm about to do. Obviously, if you guys come up super close to the rim, it's not perfect as you guys can see. And uh, you can fix all this by sanding it down and polishing it in the end. I personally don't think these rims are worth, you know, hours and days of work. These are just, as long as they're black and they're sealed, they should be good to go. They're gonna get brake dust all over them. I personally do not care. Plus, whoever is gonna pick them up for two, $300, I'm pretty sure it doesn't really care. So, this isn't really a professional job, but does look a lot better than the OEM style with a bunch of curb rash. So, uh, I'm liking this a whole lot more, a lot more reflective to it. The clear coat's gonna make it look a lot better, and then obviously the center cap's gonna make it look so good. So. Hopefully we get to all of that in, uh, in, a, in a little bit. So I'll see you guys in about 30 minutes roughly. It's been about 30 minutes now, so let's go ahead and put on some clear coat. She... All right guys, final coat. Your body, 
just like that, I pretty much got all the center caps on there. I pretty much took off all the peeling stuff. Uh, the inner barrel does need to get painted, so I will have to do it another day. I just can't really mask or paint anything from the back right now because everything's still super wet. But as for now, I'm actually really happy. So pretty much all these are painted, ready to go. I just need to flip them over, I'll paint them another day. But as for now, this is a job well done. Obviously, it's not perfect. If you guys look up super close, it's not like a smooth finish. You have to sand this, polish it, do all that stuff to it. That's a lot of work, like I said, for wheels like this. It's just not worth it. That's like, you know, hours and days of work for wheels that are not even worth 200 bucks. So I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys know if painting it actually gets you an extra $100. So basically, I spent about $12 in cans. These wheels, to my estimate, is worth 200 flat with the tires and everything. So with the paint job, did it increase the value or not? I will let you guys know pretty soon. Because I know a lot of people would just want to buy rims because they're black. So as long as they're clear coated, they're sealed and they're black and they look good I mean people want to buy it I'll let you guys know if that's something you guys want to kind of catch on and start a little business out of but for me I just wanted to paint these to see how they look with spray cans they don't look too bad from a distance when I actually they look gorgeous from a distance it's up close it's not like the smoothest finish but uh wheels are wheels they do get dirty it is what it is. I'm sure for somebody, $300 for black wheels and tires, they're gonna be happy. But yeah, check them out. Honestly, my favorite part is the logo. <laughs> and it's so reflective. The paint is like super reflective. It's like super gloss. Anyhow, 17 inch rims for sale, 300 bucks. All right guys, I've been ripping it for a little bit. Look at the temperatures, but stop at the temperatures right now. This thing is freaking quick, yo. I'm in Mexico. Um, I, I actually drove 20 hours to get to where I am right now. So don't worry about the situation, all right? But Dang, guys, this thing is just a rocket. It's a little freaking rocket. I love this car. Your man's actually heading home. For some reason, my eyes are killing me again. Allergies, my lord. There's just something I want to tell y'all, and that's something that I've always learned growing up and doing what I'm doing. And it's the fact that if you guys don't have money, you have time. That's just what it is. It's still till today, if there's an extra way to make a little bit of money on these wheels, I had time to go paint these wheels. So I decided, you know, I mean, I don't have five days worth of time to perfect them, but I do have a day's worth of time, which was today, to paint the wheel while I'm waiting for that jade pipe to come in and some things for the actual fuel pump. But yeah, guys, anyhow, I don't want to get no, uh, like, motivational and shit, so we're just going to head home and, uh, you know, grab a coffee because uh, your man's got homework tonight. I'm actually taking summer classes. If you guys don't know, I'm taking two summer classes and the reasons for that is because I'm trying to graduate as soon as possible. I'm taking a full load in the fall semester. Oh my God. Woo! Bro, I love this car. I love I'm taking a full load fall semester. Pretty much just trying to get on top of all that. So yeah, I'm gonna get a coffee, get to working on this video for you guys for tomorrow and also get done with all my schoolwork because I have like, we have these presentations you have to do online. I don't know if you guys care about any of this stuff, but if you guys are taking online classes, you guys know what I'm talking about. Presentations online is better than presentations in person, I'm not gonna lie. Even though I do all this YouTube stuff, it's still awkward to do presentation, especially with politics. I don't know if that's, I, I should probably get into politics, but for some reason, I, I'm just so uneducated. Speaking about uneducated, um, actually has no correlation whatsoever. I'm gonna head home, but without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. I don't think you guys really care about me picking up my coffee, so I'm just gonna do my thing, get this video out for you guys. I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.